Hi, it's Charlie giving you uh, part two. <laughs> um, this has been an absolute shocker. Part one was so long. I've actually recorded part two this morning, but um, live, but not there was a lot to do. But um, YouTube have had it taken down. Now, I had some music <laughs> playing in the background, and YouTube have said it has to be taken down. So um, I'm now just doing a review, basically, on part two. Now, most of the stuff was done yesterday. All that's happened is... Uh, I closed out of in part two was that which was all recorded this morning but I didn't take anything fresh all I did was close out of this cable which is about actually about where it, where it is right now so let me just take a quick screenshot for you and um, this will be a, a much quicker part two I think it was seven minutes before but um, yeah what a mess I had this music playing I didn't realize was playing in the background it was playing on my PC and, um, and of course YouTube picks up on all of that so now I've got a do another re-record um, so I'm just trying to um, just get the snipping tool working the snipping tool works I've got a dodgy mouse at the moment so let's see if I can grab it there it is so if you remember from yesterday or from part one should I say um, I think I was net down uh, 160 um, this cable no we short I shorted that yesterday at 124.80 and um, and then just exited here at 124.55. It was about oh a good hour or so ago, but it's still sitting there now because it's a holiday. And bank 97. So it left with a minus 60 pounds, which was as it across all of those trades, it was actually at uh, 0.3 minus 0.3 R um, essentially across all of those trades. So um, that's what happened there. And so. Um, very very small across all those trades so a lot of activity but didn't get anything for my money um, over the you know, yesterday um, if I review what happened yesterday um, I think I did a bit of trading on the euro didn't we we would had two two attempts on cable just actually yeah got nicked out on the euro on the pound and so I had to go in again and that's what cost that was the real cost the euro trades were right remember we had an early trade which got stopped then we got a winner out of the second trade um, and I can't remember even remember what the uh, the third or tra oh then I think I went long again um, after non-farm payroll that got stopped that's right and then um, then I shorted the pound so the the three euro trades were all fine and the pound got short got nicked out came up bounced it's that bit up back up to uh, one twenty five twenty or so it got to then I had to short it again and then made a bit out of that if I hadn't have got nicked taken out on that then it would have been a better day of course um, it would have been a positive day um, easily easily positive um, so um, but anyway sometimes that's the way it goes as per the recordings from yesterday so a right mess you know yesterday morning I was trying to do a video um, with the camera that wasn't working um, it was giving an echo to the guys in the trading room so I had to then stop it then start again and oh but this is the thing this is the reality you know if I was to be clever at editing and marketing then I would be able to make these wonderful videos and cleverly edit them and snippet them and stuff like that but um, that's not who I am you know I'm a trader and I do these recordings so you get a bit of mess if the if the software mucks up then I can't really do much about it um, but um, that's just the reality and at least you get to see real trading um, there's no covering up anything you know we've got the the trades are what the trades are which both Kim and myself do on these Fridays and I think I said last time you know these videos are done I've been doing these live trading videos since I think about 2012 something like that um, and so a lot's changed since 2012 you know lots of people are on you know social media and stuff like that so it's very very different the world that we live in now um, but the main thing is all we can do is put our videos out each week and try and make them as well there's no trying in it they are made as they are and they're as real as you're going to get um, the the winners the losers everything so and that's what we got there for you today so sorry about the last video part one was huge um, but um, that's where we got to so um, as you see I take all the screenshots the only reason I don't bring the account over entirely um, I can drag the whole account over is just because I'm always in swing trades and I'm in open swing trades at the moment and I don't always want to show what those open swing trades are although if I actually drag the account across and don't show you hopefully I won't show you what these are da, 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 da. 
then you get an idea for some of the other stuff that I do. Uh, there you go. There's an open PNL there. Uh, that's my open PNL. That's the 97 pound of cable. And that's what I'm saying. You know, the that's why I just take screenshots and then drag it across because um, that's all my other stuff going on. And I don't always want to show um, what my other trades are because they're open trades, you see. And so um, um, I don't want people who, no, no disrespect, but pe people on our wider audience getting to see what I'm in and then maybe thinking, oh, I want to be in that as well. So um, that's why I don't show the uh, the accounts in that regard. Anyway, I'm blabbering now. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'm back next week, actually. Kim's away next Friday, so um, I'm covering him next Friday. So I'm doing the next two Friday Live trading videos, actually. So I'll see you next week. Take care for now. Enjoy your weekend.